everybody. Big thing to celebrate today. The crime boss himself, Vibe Cartel, has been free and released of all charges. There will not be a retrial. So right now you got New York, you got Haiti, you got Jamaica, you got people in Africa going crazy right now. You know what I mean? Dude, dude, they finally let that man go for whatever reason. So with that being said, new music to come. One thing I do want to say is I'm glad that this brother get to go home to his family because a lot of times you don't get second chances. You know what I'm saying? So I hope he learned his lesson and watch the circle, the company he keep and try to distance himself a little bit and just focus on the music and focus on his family because I know he got grown children now because 13 years is a long time. You could have had a kid that was 13. Now they 26. See what I'm talking about? Or his son, his son, daughter, whatever, they could have been 10, 9 years old. Boom, they 23 now, 24. So you got to look at this and put it in perspective. Is it the company that I kept that put me in this type of situation? Or was it something that I could have prevented? Because a lot of times we got to look really put that in perspective and really it, 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 it be grown, man, and say, you know what? Is this the reason? why I ended up in this situation. So with that being said, um, I'm going to go run to this clip because it's, it's viral right now. Like, bro just got out probably within the past five to six hours. So I'm just breaking the news. We're going to see what they had to say. Let's go. Well, now to a Fox 5 exclusive in the case of dancehall artist Vibes Cartel. The star is set to be released after years behind bars. This news coming in just a short time ago, and only our Lisa Evers has it. Lisa, what are we hearing tonight? Well, Natasha and Steve, it took nearly 13 years, a nonstop legal fight that spanned from Kingston to Jamaica to London. But this afternoon, international dancehall music star Vibes Cartel got the news he's been waiting for. The Jamaica Court of Appeal ordered him and his three co-defendants to be released immediately. Now, Adija Palmer, better known as award-winning chart-topping entertainer Vibes Cartel, was at the height of his career in 2011 when he and three other men were arrested and charged in the murder of Clive Lizard Williams. Cartel maintained his innocence throughout and fought the conviction over many years and appeals. Finally, his attorney, Isop Buchanan, took it to the UK Privy Council, which quashed or threw out the guilty verdict last March. But they left it up to the Jamaican Court of Appeal to decide whether to retry try the case or release the four men. The court cited many factors in their very thorough explanation justifying the release, giving both sides, including Cartel's health condition, which the court acknowledged had worsened during his many years behind bars. It was a factor because they included it in their reading and they said that what they were going to read today uh, was not everything that they considered, but the things that they considered that were important. And not only did they mention the medical reports from this doctor, but they also mentioned that uh, the Crown did not object to those. Mr. Buchanan, what's your first reaction when you heard that the justice say the appellants are free? Um, you know, I was overwhelmed with joy. This has been a long journey and um, it was my I told you so moment. And Attorney Buchanan fought long and hard for this moment and tells us he is now on his way to the Tower Street Correctional Facility that was within the last half hour to finish the paperwork for Vibes Cartel's release. He says before they do anything, he is having him examined by his doctor to see if he's well enough to go home to his family or if he needs medical attention and hospitalization. It's that serious, Natasha. Wow. That's crazy. So they probably want to feed that man right, giving him the proper medical uh, assistance he needed so that was really one of the major circumstances that circulated around his situation that's probably another reason why his lawyer really fought for him to get out you know just c because of his deteriorating health conditions um, so I hope he takes that into consideration too just don't start you know popping Molly and popping all type of crazy pills like they got going on right now because since he's been gone the past 13, 14 years, a lot has changed. So he needs to stay away from any type of these narcotics that they got going on. Just try to eat healthy, get on this Dr. C B diet, you know, drinks a lot of water. Stay like I say, stay away from negative influences. 
stay around positive people, man, and continue to make inspirational music, man. Because the people have been waiting for a long time. And we don't need any more bad examples in our society. And we don't need to be continue to be looked at in the negative light. So I'm glad this brother's home. We get a second chance in life. You know, I hope you do something with this opportunity. And anyway, this is like what OG and I'm out, man. That's all I had to say. Hold on before I go. I was about to just go. But let me see where he, um, let me see if they got any footage on his celebration. I mean, we got a little too much of it. I'm trying to watch the noise. <laughs> One done. Like he said, one done. <laughs> he already knocked that one. A full bottle. He ain't drinking though. Oh man, ain't drinking, man. Think about your health conditions. One done. All right, what else he got? I'm not Everything, man. But yeah, I think, I think he's been continuously putting music out as well. So that's also a great thing. Man, they about to have a parade for this one. The party they just they hit some street fights from from Okay, okay. Copyright music, we want to really stay away from that. Um, again, Vibe Cartel, um, peace and blessings to that young brother. Uh, may he continue to have many more successful days to go along. As I see, he was a dark skinned brother, he turned to a fair skinned brother now, but we ain't gonna get on him. He had that good lotion. But again, brother's home. It's always a good thing. And that's all I'm preaching about. He's free after appeal court de declines to retry his murder charges, as well as three or four other co defendants as well. So that's a good thing. I hope all y'all turn over a new leaf and just do something. In the greatest, greater light, man. With that being said, this is OG, and I'm out. Thank y'all for rocking with me.